Hello, and welcome to a Suntup unboxing that's not in a Suntup box. Uh, it's not really a secondhand unboxing, it's more of a Suntup trade. This, my friends, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail and the title, is... Oh, oh we do get the Suntup unboxing. We get the Suntup box within the box. I don't want to see, I don't want the person's name to be on the box, so I'm going to uh, cut it over here. Don't mind me for a quick second. Oh, her name is totally visible there. I just screwed that up. I am sorry to, don't look back at that. Anyways, boom, Suntup unboxing with Suntup foam. Very exciting. This, my friends, is Hannibal Rising. By Thomas Harris. There is the beautifully illustrated bookmark featuring art by Tom Bagshaw. And of course, you got the Suntup foam inside. Uh, so, this is a Suntup trade. I had jumped off the Suntup train uh, at the start of last year, 2022. And uh, I kind of hung on, hoping for, you know, Hannibal and Hannibal Rising. And I jumped off the train. And then immediately the next quarter after I jumped off, they announced Hannibal. And uh, I was very lucky uh, that the person who took my number uh, had kept my number. And so I was able to trade my new number, because I hopped back on the train to get Hannibal, uh, with them for my matching number. And then Hannibal Rising came along, and I was able to trade again. So thank you very much to the person who has my number. Uh, anyways, I'm just rambling two minutes in. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Japanese silk on the slipcase and the book itself with the blind stamping there of the swan. Uh, follows the same format as all the previous three titles. Uh, so just like the previous titles, I imagine the signature page is in the front. It is. There we go. Matching number 127, signed by Thomas Harris and Tom Bagshaw. What a beautiful signature Thomas Harris has. Very nice end papers here. So this is complete. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, I think, but maybe that's just my copy. Yeah, maybe a curve, I don't know. Anyways, uh, the odd-numbered titles, one and three, Red Dragon and Hannibal, were illustrated by Jason Mowry. And the even-numbered titles, Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal Rising, are illustrated by Tom Bagshaw. I got a little bit of a crease on the cover page there, but nothing too bad. Uh, so yeah, they had been doing one a year, although they ended up doing two last year uh, in 2023. 2022, because it's currently 2023. Uh, one in the second quarter and one as one of the final titles, because progress uh, really went quickly. They must have, you know... Done Red Dragon, and Thomas Harris absolutely loved it, and he pretty much signed on board for the other titles. And, you know, there you go. All four titles receiving the Sun Tup treatment. And wow, what beautiful books. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you know, decent margin size spacing there. Nothing too uh, crazy, nothing too wild to write home about. You got Bagshaw is just absolutely brutal. Uh, lots of decapitated heads going on here. Uh, so Hannibal Rising tells the story of a very young Hannibal Lecter. I'm unfamiliar with the story. Uh, big surprise there. Uh, I've heard kind of uh, negative things about this one. That uh, not, not as negative as Carrie Mora, his most recent novel, which is not Hannibal Lecter. And for uh, as horrible as it is to say, I hope does not get the sun tub treatment. But I've heard that this is definitely the weakest of the series. And just like the previous titles, it doesn't have a new introduction or anything. It just jumps right in. It has a prologue. But I'm totally fine with that. A-OK. -okay. Uh, the Artist Edition, I believe, is still available for this. If you want to get these beautiful numbered editions, you're going to have to go to the secondary market. Uh, this title in particular isn't as expensive on the secondary market as, say, Silence of the Lambs or Red Dragon will cost you. Uh, you could probably get a relatively close to uh, issue price for both Hannibal and Hannibal Rising here. Uh, obviously, the further back you go, the more expensive it's going to be, including Red Dragon, which is the priciest of the four. But if you are uh, interested in Artist Editions, I believe the Artist Edition is still available 
for Hannibal Rising. I did not pick that one up. I do have the Hannibal uh, Artist Edition, but not the Hannibal Rising Artist Edition. But it does have a double-sided dust jacket, which is pretty cool. Uh, there are plenty of other numbered editions still available over at suntup.press, uh, including the most recent title, which is the Amityville Horror. Uh, buying that will get you the rights to the next title, which uh, is going to be in June. It's going to be Psycho by Robert Block. And uh, Paul Suntup has recently announced they're going back to the 250 copy limitation uh, because the sales have been down. And uh, there are still, I think, 20 copies of Am Amityville Horror beneath uh, 250. So if you want to get on the train sub 250, you should go over and buy a copy of Amityville Horror. Um, actually, I mean, I don't know that you really need to. I, I, that's not, a, 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 I, I don't know why I'm like, I don't know. Let me let me ref let me back up a second, because Psycho is three fifty, unless uh, at least it was three fifty at the time of the announcement schedule. It's very possible, perhaps, that he has reduced that to two fifty, because uh, I know he said there were some titles that were too far along and couldn't be reduced. Uh, so if that is truly still three fifty, then getting below two fifty for Amityville wouldn't really matter in the long run, unless you wanted to secure a number that's 250 for Psycho. Um, if you were not interested in Amityville, you could just tr try to secure one of those 22 copies of Psycho, uh, which might even be more than 22 if not everybody who bought Amityville doesn't buy Psycho, but uh, I imagine those who buy one will likely buy the other. Uh, so anyways, Suntup is going back to 250 because the, like I said, its sales have been a little bit lower. Uh, I mean, I can't speak for the exact reasoning for it, but I presume that that is the uh, particular reason for it, is that sales were lower. He's got a lot of numbered copies. I mean, there was like 100 copies of Amityville Horror left. And even though Paul has said that he wants copies to be available on the website, he probably doesn't want that many copies to be available on the website. So he's cutting it back to 250, which uh, kind of sucks because it's going to be harder to get on the train. You're going to have a lot more people buying it just to stay on the train like you did before. But, may, I mean, I don't think he really cares about the secondary market. At least he shouldn't as a bookseller. But, I mean, I guess that does kind of suck for those uh, looking for the books or it's going to increase FOMO for those who want to stay on the train. But, you know, to each their own. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all the power to them. I'm can't afford to stay on the train like that. Uh, I did it before. It, it hurt my wallet and it hurts my pride to say so. But anyways, uh, thank you very much to Jessica for doing the swap so that I could get my matching 127. Uh, she got 172 because I got a little dyslexic number with the most recent number. Anyways, I got several other Suntup unboxings coming along. I got two other boxes, one that just arrived, one that should be arriving tomorrow both Suntup. So it's like it's Suntup week in a way. Uh, so please consider liking and subscribing and we'll see you around next time.